Okay, so installing Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4 has just got a whole lot easier. Unfortunately, my on-the-go adapter has stopped working, uh, so I can't properly use it. Uh, but all you need is a Windows computer, uh, a single SD card, uh, and a on-the-go USB adapter, and you can get Windows 10 up and running. So I'll show you the steps on how you do it. Okay, so links to everything will be in the description. So the first step, you need to go to the Windows on Raspberry Pi Imager site and click on Downloads. Here you'll see the latest version. Then you need to download the version of Windows. So again, I'm clicking on the latest version. I'm doing the Google Drive uh, download, so click on that. And that's around about five gigs, so that's quite a big download. Once that's downloaded, you then need to go into your drive and unzip it. You can see I've already unzipped mine. Uh, basically, if I right click on that file, then I can extract to, and it basically extracts it into a folder. Next, you need to open up that WOR zip. I usually create a new folder and drag the contents of that zip into it. So select all and then drag it into that newly created folder. So then double click on that folder and double click on the exe file WOR exe. Okay, so now we're in the program. As you can see, the presentation is very nice. Select your language and hit next. Select Raspberry Pi 4 and then select where you're going to store it. So mine's a 32 gig micro SD card. Hit next. Then we need to select our Windows ARM image. This is the big image we downloaded earlier on. So we need to navigate to the folder we downloaded it into. Click on the folder and then click on the image and select open. The selected image file is good. So hit next. Select the drivers. Now a lot of this you can actually download the latest version with the program. So click on that. And as you can see it's downloading the files. Hit accept. Accept again. Hit next. Same again. Use the latest firmware available on the server. And again, hit uh, select Raspberry Pi 4, it already is. Hit next. I didn't save any of these settings. I just hit next. Here it kind of sets up exactly what it's going to do. So click on install. And then you've got a bit of a wait. Now in my case, it, it uh, formatted the drive because there was data on it and it came up with this uh, message. And you can, I think you can click on this straight away. It looks like it carries on on its own, but I waited a few seconds as I wasn't sure what was going on. So I closed that down and let it carry on installing Windows. This bit takes quite a long time. So in my case, this took about 14 minutes before this folder showed up. So you can see if I click on it, it's given me a boot drive and a Windows drive. Okay, so now you pop your SD card into your Pi and you need to be using a USB on the go adapter because the only USB socket that works on the Pi at the moment, and obviously this will change at some point, is the USB-C socket and that's why you need an on the go adapter. So I'll speed up this next bit. I can't do the final bit because my on the go adapter has stopped working but I've ordered another two different types from Amazon to try and uh, when they arrive, hopefully Wednesday, so soon after that I should be able to finish it all off. But uh, let me know how you got on. Uh, if you've got any tips or hints, I'd appreciate them. And uh, I'll put a link to all the descriptions and all the, the various different work that these people have been doing. It's, it's great work. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.